So let's review some basics regarding managing diabetes in pregnancy. There are a few ways to monitor glucose levels. Depending on your insurance's guidelines, you may use either a glucose meter with test strips or a continuous glucose monitoring system, also called CGM, to track your readings. Most patients start off using a glucose meter. You will need to check your blood sugars four times a day. You will check your fasting, which is when you first wake up. Make sure you have fasted at least eight hours. You will also check three meal readings, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You will want to check one hour after your first bite. This gives us an idea of how your body manages glucose in that first hour, giving us a sense of what potentially can get to your baby. You will want your fasting readings less than 95 and your one hour after your first bite reading to be less than 120. Now, there are some exceptions to these guidelines. If you are pregnant with multiples or have been told that your baby is growing just a little bit smaller for their gestational age, then we'll give you elevated parameters. Your meal readings then typically need to be less than 140. Those with a continuous glucose monitoring system, or CGM, we recommend the range settings of 70 to 120 or 70 to 140 for multiple or smaller babies. The end time range goal of 70% with standard deviations in the 30s. Standard deviation looks at how much your blood sugars go above and below your average. Each patient will have their appointment scheduled with their office based on their unique set of circumstances. However, between appointments, we ask that you send in your glucose readings weekly. This allows us to evaluate your readings and make suggestions regarding diet, starting medication, or if needed, adjust your current diabetic medication. Readings may be sent to us by MyChart or email.